When you're working in Alice, often you will need to add variables, which allow you to store information and reuse it. If you're going to add a new variable, you have to come up to the top and select Local and drag it into your program. I really prefer in my class that all of your variables are declared at the top of the program. They need to be declared before you use them. You will typically pick what type of variable is your first step when the declare local variable box opens. So I'm going to choose string. It's saying text string. I'll change that in a minute. And we're going to give it a name of my string. Now you want to typically describe what you're going to do with it, but this is just an example for how to use it. To initialize a variable is to create an initial value for it. And I can hit OK and I now have my string, which you'll see at the top of the page. If you're seeing it as text string, what I want you to do is change your preferences on your programming language because I want to use the Java language at all time. And notice that changes it from text string to string. You can also create numerical variables. Same way, you're dragging your local object, you choose your variable type. An integer is a whole number, a double is a number with a decimal point, a boolean is a true false, and then you can bring in a polygonal model or person, which are high-level variables. What I'm really working with today are primitives, which is just base numbers and strings. So at this point, I'm going to select an integer. And this is going to have a more meaningful name. I'm going to call it jump times. Please notice I'm using camelback notation. In camelback notation, the first word of the variable is always lowercase. Each additional word is uppercase, and this is used traditionally in Java and other object-oriented programming. I'm going to initialize the variable's value to 3, and I'm going to hit OK. Now you want to be able to use your variables. So I can use my bunny, who's on the stage here, and I can have him say, and then I can have him use my string. So you can say whatever is in my string. If I run this, you'll see that this is my initial value is in the my string, and that's what he says. To test jump times, I'm going to have the bunny Oh, he doesn't have a jump. Okay, so we're going to just have him turn instead. And we're going to have him do it jump times, and I'm going to test this again. Now, unfortunately, this happens all the time in programming. You change what you're going to do, and you may want to change the name here, but Alice does not make it easy at this point to make changes. And it's also not all that easy to delete an existing So I would have to either create a new one or live with that. So be careful when you're naming your variables because in this version of Alice, because we're still in a beta, it's not fully featured and I can't just easily change it. You can change the values by dragging them in. So now I have string my string, this is my initial value. I can drag it in and I can set it equal to a new string. That gives it a new value. And I can just copy him saying my string. And I 
I can test this. But it makes most sense of all if you can get the information from your user. So to do that, I'm going to drag down this line where I'm assigning the value. So I've got a copy of it, so it's my string equals, then I'm going to play it again. But here, I want the user to assign the variable. So I can go into Functions, and I can select Get String from User. And now, what it pr this is where I'm going to prompt the user to enter something. And I can hit OK. So that's not where I want it. Here I can delete it. just have them say my string and this one is where I want to put in the get string from user and then we'll prompt enter a string of text so now it will store whatever the user types in in my string and play it and now he'll say what I entered. So a variable will store either something that you assign in the running of the program or something that you get from the user.